Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. And uh, so I haven't been off that long uh, compared to last episode, but I believe I found something and I actually had to like revert back to a save real quick to make sure everyone else saw it too. Um, so I believe, it, it, yeah, it's up here in this place that's like, so we were over here at the south, or yeah, like kind of here-ish last episode and now we're just across the street and it was in this oh no 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 it's this this way oh uh i'm gonna take a bunch of his stuff okay that to you there's no one up here and they can't see me stealing things So, I'll just, oh my god, I'll just take it. Traveler's chest, more gold. There's no one up here, so they're not gonna miss uh, whatever's up here. I mean, they might miss it, but, you know, I don't give a shit. Mine now. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, but th this was the thing. That shapeshifter's key unlocked the door. Interesting. Okay. So, it looks like the key led to this. We'll go ahead and take all these. Another quick save wouldn't hurt. Just in case of, you know, confliction. Scroll of Otto's ear. Dance. Blood. Well, let's look at the wooden desk first to make sure there's a bloodstained note. Read. Two hands. Now two hands. Two of them. More needed. Okay. Well, um, we're going to take this with us that's technically evidence blood you notice some blood has pooled on the wooden floor investigation try to discern oh. okay. good you notice the blood source a body hidden under the bed pull out the body Theon old grind all right I'll take his key it's identical to the one held by that corpse in the tunnels the corpse in the tunnels temple plans these tunnels were full of shapeshifters. Father Logan's name is written here too. Ooh, a disguise kit. Scarlet leather armor. Bonus to stealth checks. Um, I mean, if anyone's getting that, I guess it's gonna be Carlock. Because Carlock's stealth is actually quite impressive. Um, before we do that, let's check this chest. Uh, I'll take these poisons. Get this covered. Uh, yeah, we'll take them. Okay, so we did that. The key in Frego's flop house perfectly matches one we found under the open hand temple. We should see if we can find more evidence about Father Lorgan's murder in the flop house. Okay. So. Um. More evidence? Bloodstained parchment. Read. Those wishing to face the Dreadlord's Tribunal and enter the Temple of Baal must slay targets on this list and frame the corpses as a murder by the cult of the Absolute. Just Bring victim's think, hand as proof of killing. Okay. okay. We're going to pick that up. Impress the Murder Tribunal. Investigate the murders. Father Lorgan's name appears. Uh, you, we want to show Investigator Valeria. So I don't remember where Valeria was. Okay. It's just across the street at the caress. Um, okay. I can't get out that way. Oh, I have to go through the, the wardrobe. Okay. Okay. 
So over to, I believe this, yeah, we're going to go to the press here. Talk to the Valeria person. I want to hear all about it. I want to talk to this guy first. Now, that there's a face I'd remember if I'd seen it. Welcome to Charesse's Caress. What can Hoots do for you, stranger? You got a taste for ale, I reckon. Or maybe... Ah, forget it. My new brew could drop you in the wink of a spectator's eye. Um... Nah. Okay. Just a barkeep. That's fine. Hey, this is Valeria. I presume you found something interesting to discuss if you're interrupting me again? Yeah. Father Lorgan's murder is just one of a bigger plot. A ball plot. A ball plot. You as well. Devella's been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy cods wallop and fear-mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. Oh, fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? My theory? It's not a theory I have proof. This document contains information connecting the murders to the ballist resurgence. No need to wave documents at me. I'm already drowning in paperwork as it is. Constable Develler is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list and I'll stay and inform the fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. It'll give you access to the lower city. Thanks. Well, what are you waiting for? You have a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move. All right, I guess I'm. I guess I'm leaving now. Okay, so lower city pass. Investigator Valeria is now convinced Father Lorgan's murder is linked to a wire plot and has asked us to bring the news to the constable Gauntlet Devella in the lower city's Elf Song Tavern. Okay. Um. Actually, curious because I don't entirely know where I'm at right now. What I'm doing? Who am I? Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm definitely not gonna go with Raphael's deal. As of right now. Um. So I'm going to have to. Figure something out. All right. We'll figure it out. We'll get there. Um, we're making our way. Deep okay, so we'll we'll follow these gnomes real quick because that was something that was close on here, uh, and then we'll continue the investigation stuff. Um, so I'm not a thousand percent sure. I think I just have to go all the way down to the end of that road. The boss is expecting you. Hasn't forgotten what you did for him at Moonrise. Sweet. All right, where is the boss? Nimble. Speak to Wolverin. Let's do a Wolverin. Good to see you. Wasn't sure you'd make it to the city. Regretting it yet? Uh, maybe a I little. I spent a lot of time thinking of worst case scenarios while I was locked in that cell you plucked me out of at Moonrise. I didn't imagine anything as bad as this. 
The Gondians have handed Enver Gortash the means to bring about the end of liberty in Baldur's Gate. And the citizens have rolled out the red carpet for the new tyrant. Resistance fighters are few and far between. My iron hands, what's left of the Harpers, and you, I hope. I'm with you. Gortash is a dead... Gortash is a dead man. I have reasons of my own for taking him down. Good. But I'm with you. We don't have a chance unless we stick together. Not while the Gondian's metal monsters are patrolling the streets. The Steel Watch, they're a threat to you, me, and every man, woman, and child in this city. They act all civilized, servants of the people, but they only serve one man. When he becomes Grand Duke, it will only get worse. Laws will change, freedoms will vanish, and soon you'll be accused and sentenced before you've even committed a crime. And the fucking Gondians are to blame for all of it. Uh, cheer up. We're here to help. I heard about that. You had the Harpers all excited, but there aren't many Harpers left. These Steel Watchers, one of them is the equivalent of a Red Dragon. An army of them. Well, there's never been an army of dragons. Um, how do we stop them? in the Gondians. Hard. They invented the Steel Watchers, and they're building an army of them. They've always been happy to provide their technology to despots in exchange for a stipend and the freedom to work in peace. They would have licked Saravok's boots, given a chance. And now they'll kiss Gortash's ring while this city screams. I had a plan to put a stop to them. But the way things are now, if we stick our heads above ground, the watchers are on us like flies on shit. Um. Uh. Maybe I can I'm help. Sure you can. You just need a little assistance, and I can provide it. The Gondians are ingenious. But we're more than equal to them. There's nothing they can build that the Iron Hands can't tear down. I've built something unique for just that purpose. A rune powder bomb. First of its kind. Fifty wizards high on the weave couldn't summon this kind of firepower. Get the bomb inside the Gondian facility. And boom. Problem solved. Okay. I'll blow up the foundry. Give me the bomb. Ha! I knew you were the practical sort. That's why we get along. The foundry is in the lower city. Down by the docks. Beautiful building. Belching smoke into the sky day and night. Getting inside won't be easy. But when you do, place the bomb at the heart of the facility. Get yourself back to street level. The streets will be clear of watchers in no time. All right, so we have a rune powder bomb. Uh, and this ladder will take us out of here. Locked, but there's no keyhole. Must be a switch or something nearby. Oh, clever. Aha! Uh, that dude's body is gone. I wonder if they've heard at this point. Gildra? How can I help you? Okay, so no. Um, well, his body's gone, so I guess that's a thing. All right. Um... I know we had talked to this guy about his missing pigeons or whatever. I don't think, uh, I don't think I'll be able to find him though. Our readers will be outraged. About what? Ah, are you trying to get into the city? Um. Got a minute to tell me about your experience at the gate today? Why security so tight? 
There was a skirmish a few days back. A band of absolutists came close to entering the city. People started panicking, so the gate got closed. My editor at the Boulder's Mouth Gazette sent me down to get a first-hand account of the chaos. He wants some fluff piece about the heroic steel watch keeping the mob at bay. Whether or not that's the truth or not. Um... Criticizing the steel watch, that's not an opinion you hear often. If you read the Boulder's Mouth Gazette, it's an opinion you'll never hear. Lord Gortash makes sure of that. My editor, Mr. Needle, was a brilliant journalist. But recently, well, now he's got friends in high places, he seems more interested in keeping them happy. Seems like everything we write needs Gortash's approval. Can't recognize my own work by the time they're done editing. Um, I'd love to speak with your editor. Where can I find him? At the Gazette's print house. Though it's in the lower city, so you'll need to get past the gates first. Gotcha. Come to think of it, you remind me of someone he was writing a piece about. You, uh, might want to speak to him about that. Set the record straight before the ink is dry, so to speak. Now, if you don't mind, I've got some edits to make. All right. Um... Perception? What were you percepting? Where? I heard a pigeon. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I can loot these though, apparently, for whatever reason, even though there's definitely people right there that could see me doing this. I really don't know what was seen. But, uh, I guess it doesn't matter now because you can't fucking. Whatever. Whatever, it's fine. Everything's fine. Unless it was in here for whatever reason. No, oh, go up here. Pigeons are very sensitive. They can't fly straight if they're disturbed. Okay. Cool. Um... Pigeon. Uh... Pigeon. Amigo. Amigo. Need a word. Hey, yo. I've no need of a wing man. Commander Lightfeather will give you your briefing. Okay. Commander Lightfeather. Who the fuck is Commander Lightfeather? A little wet under the wing for our unit. The commander will soon straighten you out. Fuck does that even mean? Name and rank? Quickly now! There's a war on! What the fuck? Against the absolute, I know I'm fighting in the it. Absolute puppycock. Enemy propaganda designed to confuse simple minds. <laughs> Not your fault you fell for it. <laughs> you need a strong leader like myself to see the wood under the trees. I am Commander Lightfeather, 
leader of the finest aerial communication regiment this side of the Chianza. State your purpose, ground walker. I don't have all day. This is fucking amazing. Uh, I hear some of your officers have gone missing recently. What happened to them? Uh, damned awful business. Fine flyers, a lot of them. Gone without a trace. Intelligence is in short supply, but we know our enemies flanked us on the west side. Got one rooftop away. They're avoiding the whole area. I won't lose one more beak to the blighter. If you pass that way, beware the sign of the featherless wings. From that rooftop, none return. Interesting. Okay, so... A rooftop to the west? Featherless wings? Okay, yeah, yeah. So let's go in here. So we need to get to the roof. How the hell do we get on the roof? Well, I guess we're going to find out. Let's see, there should be just stairs to go up, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I went up this. I was wondering why the hell that was even there in the first place. Is that blood? No, never mind. Come on. Let's go, guys. Up we go. find this dude's letters that he's missing. Oh, go, go up the goddamn ladder. What? What is happening? I think my eyes are playing tricks on me. Wait, what? What in the fuck? A cat with wings. A cat with wings. Um... That's fucking amazing. So let's get everyone else up here. Where's My faith will guide me. Shadow Heart? No time to waste. Why is the path interrupted? You're too high. Carlock. Let me shy. Go for a good meal. Okay, I guess the other two are just gonna have to stay down there for now. That collar looks familiar. Something to do with Gale. Well, let's talk. Um Yeah. Uh. You notice the Tresum guards a shiny ring and stack of letters at its feet. Quite a nice uh, ring you got there. What are you going to do with it? From the look of those letters, I, one might guess you were responsible for those post houses missing pigeons. One needn't guess. Pigeon meat is my second favorite. Fascinating. Those letters are important. You shouldn't be eating their messengers. Importance is relative. A letter may be important to one. A growling belly may be more important to another. Uh, but 
But let's not get bogged down in semantics. I believe you were just leaving, weren't you? Ta! Mm, no. Even be here, I'm gonna eat you. All both of those sucked. Both of those were awful rolls. There we go. That's better. <laughs> I'd actually enjoy watching you try. But let's not allow our baser natures to prevail. In truth, I've grown tired of this rooftop anyway. I'll be on my way then. There are a few places in the city I'd like to visit. I might have sussed some interesting items I'd rather like to get my paws upon. If I find anything interesting, I might even be willing to barter. Might. Tara. Away. Okay. Well, that happened. Uh, we'll grab the bundle of letters. Oh, look at all the dead pigeons. That's six. All right. Uh, easiest thing to do is just go here and then make our way back down to the post. Quite, quite a lot less walking just doing it this way. All right. Here you go, Danzo. Don't suppose you've uh, stumbled across those letters yet? Um. Is this the letter you were looking for? Thank the gods. Unopened as well. Oh, what a relief. My customers will be most pleased. Here's your fee. As promised. Sweet. Hey, that's that's a good bit of gold. All right, so we found the missing letters. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. We need to find a way forward. Okay. So we are going to find a way forward. All right. I'm not going to accept the deal. So the only thing I need to do, I believe, is go to the end of town here because I need to get to the lower city. And I've gotten a pass to get into the lower city, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, actually, let's go here first. So I see this chest here. This chest might be useful. Might not be useful. Who knows? I can fly, though, so I don't think it matters too much. Uh, wasn't much. Something. All right. Linda Alt Tower. Alt Alt Tower. Need something? I've got the tools for any job. Any job. Trade. Uh, water. Grab this arm. Thieves tools. We'll take all of them. Smoke powder bomb wouldn't be the worst thing to carry around. Um. Give you this burnished necklace. And uh, I think that's all I can really give you right now, lady. All right. Uh, Whatever you're worth. All right, so I need to be able to get to the lower city, and I believe this is the way to do it. Steel Watcher. Citizen, 
You are being accompanied by a malfunctioning steel watcher. Please stand back. <laughs> uh, I think you have the wrong hunk of metal. False. Report your purpose, steel watcher. Why are you following these citizens unbidden? Ah. I understand your malfunction. Your unit is a highly outdated model. The Ragnax casement protecting your metallurgized iced valves is burning well outside the recommended temperature. Please report to the Steelwatch foundry for dismantling. Um, same thing Damon said. Do you know how to fix this malfunctioning engine? Yeah. Hey, Metal Man. If I report to this foundry, can my engine be fixed? Your make is very obsolete. Repairing your engine would be not only impractical, but impossible. Report to the Steel Watch foundry for immediate hmm. dismantling. Yeah, yeah. Tell me something I don't know. Um, where's the Steel Watch foundry? Steel Watch foundry is off limits to visitors. This malfunctioning unit can escort itself back. Um, okay. How in the shit do I get to the lower city? Um, I know I need the pass. I have the pass. You want past? Talk to Ellen. Okay. Ellen. Sorry, chum. Can't let you through. Worms rocks closed for the day. Um. Investigator Valeria needs me in the lower city. Of serial killers on the loose. Valeria. Well, I'm not messing about with a murder inquiry for damn sure. Straight ahead across the bridge. A blind ogre couldn't miss it. Yeah, here we go. All right, sweet. Um, okay, before we do that, let's climb the ladder and see if there's anything we can, uh, just check on. Just check more, more things. Okay, a lot of this is potion stuff. Hello? Don't mind if I do. Time to press ahead. Now, don't sneak. Now, here's someone who appreciates the finer things. Stop. Inhale through the nose. Hold. Exhale slowly through the mouth. Okay. <sighs> Now you've just sampled some of Baldur's Gate's finest incense. Delicious, no? Um, uh, uh, okay. What do you have for sale? Everything alchemical from potions to poisons. Just do make sure you read the label before quaffing. Ocean of Invisibility, Oil Bane. Uh, some of these could definitely be useful. Especially the potions. I'm going to stock up just because I know. Go ahead and take that too. I know I can get screwed over if I don't have anything in terms of healing on me. So this would probably be for the best. Okay. Be sure to. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um. So what is the steeped in resonance condition or steeped in bliss condition? Uh, 
Um, I don't really know what it does. Alright, let's uh, get back down here. And cross this bridge. On to the lower city, continuing our investigation. This is a door. Let's see if there's anything I can do about the door. Halt. Oh, okay. We do not know how you gained entry, but your trespass shall not be punished. Lord Gortash has been expecting you. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place. Confident, dominant, commanding. My most esteemed guest, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer, slayer of the dread General Cethric Thorn. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate, my city. Um, we talk face to face? Of course, of course. My seal watchers are rather adept at keeping the peace, but not entirely suitable for polite conversation. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. Okay. Small invitation from Gortash. We shouldn't have any more trouble from the guards. Okay, so Gortash is actually up there, but our goal was to get into the lower city. So the lower city we shall go. Oh my god. Actually, what was through this door? Before, before doing any of that. resisting its orders. Without all three stones to control it, it will soon start acting on its own will. Okay, that's still just a way to confront Gortash. And that's not what we want to do right now. What we want to do is go to uh, the lower city. Oh, it's you. Are you fucking kidding me? Hold on. Let me talk to mom. What's up, mommy? If it isn't little Will's chums. I hope he hasn't been too much trouble. Heard about his father. The Dead Three's puppet. A travesty, really. He's upstairs in Worms Rock, ordaining Gortash as Archduke. A splendid shindig, I hear. Perfect for crashing. Go on up. We'll talk after. And bring the pup along, if you can. I'd hate for him to miss the fun. Okay. So let let me check my thing here. Um, Gauntlet, Devella, and Elf Song Tavern. So we gotta find where Elf Song Tavern is. Entering a different region. Um, you know what? We just saved, so yeah, we'll we'll just go ahead and go. As I I want to go talk to. Uh, the gauntlet and then then go to Gortash because Gortash is going to be a much bigger like thing to deal with so uh, let's take it one little thing at a time before we fully jump into that uh, that's definitely not something I want to I want to do right now um, yeah this will be interesting see how this goes look at us all bundled together Oh. Well, thanks for ruining the moment, guys. Wow, there's a lot going on here. Okay. So, there's a lot going on here. Gauntlet, murder target, Rovere, murder target, Cora, murder target, Franck. Speak to Loracon. All right. Um, Very welcome, sir. 
hear some motion over here. Let's just go do some further exploring. Why not? Mistress likeness. Storm Shore Tabernacle. Thicker humble toes. Greetings, child of faith. Be welcome to the Stormshore Tabernacle. You have come far, I perceive. How may I serve you this day? Um, okay. Well. Statue of Mistra. God. This game has so much in it. Like, you, you have to dedicate quite a bit of time to this game in order to like really get the full grasp of everything um in my current predicament is i just don't have the time to do that um don't worry though i'll, I'll come back to Baldur's gate on my on my own terms much later um but yeah i want to i want to finish this playthrough first and then uh, make a better character, uh, be more explorative. Uh, it just a lot of things that to a lot of things I want to do different once I uh, am able to. Okay, so this I believe is the elf song tavern and we want to talk to the gauntlet here um maybe maybe but where would your old things be i'm assuming through here Um, killing, maybe. But that's not how those absolutes operate. Once the watchers, the reminder isn't how do I get upstairs? Furry chunkers, this crystal. Chef Roby, why do I have a murder target? I'm confused. I'm assuming this is one of the people I need to kill for, uh, Asterion. Um... Here, let's just talk to him at least. Damn rats. Oi, you. I thought I asked you to clean the rats out of this cellar yesterday already. Hop to it. Get in there. Um. Rats are unimportant. Your name is on a list of murder targets. No. I need them rats taken care of. Here's the deal. I'll keep a lookout for murderers. You murder the rats. Shut them up. I can see in your eyes. You want to war. Okay, well, I guess I can go kill some rats. That shouldn't be too difficult of a thing to do. The cellars are just down the stairs. There, find Cool. 
Um. Um, you have something that has an AoE. Easy kills. Yeah, this isn't really much of a fight, is it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Another fight. Let's go. Um do I have a grease bottle? I do have a grease bottle. What do I have to lose? Ow. Um, and then do one of these. Are you fucking serious? Another one of these. Can't afford to let up. And one of these. What? 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 Traitor. Destroyer. Fireball. There. The wine cellar. There's a hidden door that leads further in. The mechanism to open it is somewhere among the wine racks. Somewhere among the wine racks. Okay. Best be on my way. Oh, uh, why are you taking fire damage? To the old hideout. Gail, if you could stop taking damage for like two fucking seconds, that would be amazing. Not sure what that does, but uh... Probably safe to save, just in case. Just in case. Get Yankee. What are they doing here? Get rid of them. We will be ready. In the meantime, tear every brick out if you have to. If it does ah. come, we must find everything. Well, I was not well expecting perhaps. this to happen. Mm. I applaud your taste. Check me.
Okay, so I'll try something different because that was not going uh, very well at all. I was out. I was way outnumbered, out health, and everything. So that was not the most ideal. Might have a different plan. Seems your report was good, Wargaz. Here you are, as brazen as described. The traitor who would steal from our queen. Of course you had help, didn't you? From the elithid you carry inside the astral prism. How quaint that we should meet here, in the very place that it once called home. We know all about the Emperor and its dealings with you. Though I must confess, its peculiar relationship with you threw us off course for a while. Tell me, what did it offer you in exchange for your servitude? Um... Promise of feeding the Elder Brain. And you would trust an Elithid to do such a thing? I thought you said this one was smart, Wargaz. You have fallen prey to its manipulation. Your story ends here. We will reclaim the astral prism, purge it of the elithid interloper, and restore it to our queen. I'd give it to you freely if the mind player would let me. You should know the emperor is not the only occupant of the astral prism. <laughs> I see it keeps you on a tight leash. Very good. I will liberate you from your... Okay. That did not go according to plan. How do I I probably just need to skip this altogether because there's no way I can do this right now. Um holy shit. Okay, location of reserve supplies. Some of my things still intact, perhaps even useful. To you. Sword of the Emperor. My old sword. My first purchase as an adventurer. No use to me anymore. It's yours if you want it. I don't. Where is it? Stillmaker. I just do with it oh I equipped it I didn't mean to equip it shapeshifter slayer this weapon deals an additional 1d4 against shapeshifters um let's go ahead and just switch back to that for now open up my old wardrobe the home of all my disguises we are what we appear to be and so appearances Matter. Huh. Will encumber me if I take it. Charm or frighten a creature. Gain a 1d4 bonus to attack rolls. What do I still got on me? Kethrix Warhammer. I could probably just sell that. I don't know why I still have this. How heavy is this fucking thing?
don't know why Shadowheart didn't have that. That's medium armor. I'm wondering, are you proficient in heavy armor? I guess we're about to find out. Not proficient with heavy armor. Okay, I am proficient with heavy armor. I would rather have this on because my armor class is better. Um... Okay, I can't get rid of that for whatever reason. I'll just let Carlock hold on to that for now, because that maybe that could help. Yeah, because it's a lithid protection. Disadvantage on stealth checks, though. All right. Um, Rose of books. Let's check this. Scroll of eye bite. Your eyes become black corridors walled in teeth. It's a little disturbing, but it's also kind of cool. Scroll of stone skin, notes on mind flayer anatomy, read. Better not be cursed. It's through here. Catch. Lower city sewers. Invasion plans for Baldur's Gate. Am I outside? Where the fuck am I? What's hiding here? Whoa! It's not safe here. It's too late for me, but not for you. Run as fast as your legs can carry you. What the fuck? What are you doing here? What are you doing down here? Shapeshifter, or in the red. She sees me from our camp, bore me here to Baal's enclave. She, she slit my belly and filled her cup with my blood. A toast, she said, to her false god. She told me when her cup ran dry, she'd come for the rest of me. I'm done for. I will hold her off as long as I'm able. Run while you still can. Don't even think about fighting her. This foe is too powerful. You're coming with us. You let the Githyanki weigh you down. She would make corpses of you all. I knew it. I knew it wasn't fucking Lazel. Look at it. Crawling and sniffing and rooting around in the filth. Is it my netherstone you seek, little piggy? <gasps> hush, hush. Orin will take care of you. And your little pet. What have you done with Lazelle? Nothing. No, not a thing. <laughs> Still gasping and gagging on the foul airs of Baal's temple. <gasps> I will not slice. Her kind die too easily. The murder lord demands a better offering. Something new. Sticky, sweet, and delicious. 
He wants you. Um. You have to wait his turn. The murder lord does not need permission to kill. You are dull. A blunt blade unfit to flay. But you could be sharpened. Thin and jagged. Yes, I will tell you what to do. Um... How exactly do I sharpen myself? Against the tyrant's throat, of course. <laughs> I had an arrangement with Lord Gortash, but he winches and wails over the crown, wanting to command it alone. Oh, how I long to slit his poxy smile from ear to ear. But I can't touch him. He bound my blade when we first conspired. Gortash didn't want me at first. Didn't trust me. Got me to wag my tongue, swear an oath, never to hang him from the hooks. Drip drain him into father's open jaws. You must kill the tyrant. Take the netherstone from his corpse and bring it to my temple. There we slice and shred each other. The survivor claims the stones. What's left of the other is bars. Agree, and I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Refuse me, and you'll learn what happens to those who defy Baal's doctrine. So will your friend. Oren demands a fight to the death. The prize for the victor, the nether stones, and the chance to control the crown alone. Accept, and you must kill Gortash. Refuse, and your companion's life may be forfeit, as might your own. Oren's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. Um, I'll kill Gortash, Lazelle lives, and we fight for the final nether stone. The promise of slaughter, of pain and humiliation, and the sound of blood drip dropping into the gutter. Do not underestimate his steel watch. Seek their cradle in the lower city and skewer their skull meat. Make them rust and blood. Then you can gore the lordling again and again and again. But listen, listen close, bone killer. Step in my domain while the tyrant still sucks air, and I will carve your failure into your pretty plaything's skull. <laughs> Bring me his stone, and I will set the bait free. <laughs> Only then can you and I make exquisite butchery. The victor will set the world to slaughter. <laughs> Holy shit. That is Baal's offer. He will not make another. <laughs> well then, holy Jesus. Um, that was a lot that just happened. Alrighty then. Um, so we're gonna get the fuck right out of here. Because, um, uh, no. N no. Uh, let's go to the Basilisk Gate, I guess.
let's get the hell out of this place right quick. and cellar. We also got cats, but cats are useless. So how about you kill Already the killed the rats. Did? Very clever. Good job. Uh sure, I'll take it. Let's see what we have here. Here. Let's just all go to the basilisk gate. Group up. And we'll kind of figure out what where to go from here. So we need to speak to Laura Can. Okay. So we have to save Lazel. Save the marked targets. Rescue the Grand Duke. See what Laura can once with her. Okay. Lots. A lot of stuff. Lots going on. Standard procedure. Shadowheart, how fucking far away are you from? You're you're literally right fucking there. Come on. Gotta find the next murder Do target. I think of Lord Gortash's still watch. Well, I am so glad you asked, Edward. I can't help but notice you're drinking anyway. Ah, oh, there's Cora. Why, hello there. We were just about to try some of Master Metzley's delightful wines. Oh, would you care to join us? Oh, they do look ever so tasty. Um, this is Highbury. I prefer to conduct tastings individually, so I may assess your palate. Call me Cora, Master Metzley. And I'm afraid I must insist on their joining us. Wine's no good without company, after all. Um, Cora Highbury, your life is in danger. A killer is after you. No, I must say, if this is a practical joke, it's not very amusing. Why, a serial killer? Oh, that's terrible. Master Mensley, are you quite all right? It was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You have sullied it with knowledge, made it an unclean sacrifice. I will remember your face. And I will peel it from your skull, should you interfere again. Um, well, shit. Oh, crap. Oh. 
Nice. Now end the turn. Good miss. Nice. Good miss. Okay. Spirit Guardians. Nice. Let's go ahead and do uh hmm. vampiric touch. Oh, the iron is hot. And then Carlock, you'll do a branding smite on this guy. And a reckless. Nice. Vine Strike, Nightshade Poison. Um, let's go ahead and do a Divine Strike on this guy. And turn. Let's jump here, get behind them. What in the, f what, what? Whatever. No. Fireball. No. Vampiric touch. And then Carlock. Stab. Gone. Where he goes, death is soon to follow. Tombstone shop key. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to level up my characters real quick. Fast forward. Okay. We're all leveled up. We're gonna go talk to Aura. With silver tongue. I still can't believe. Why would anyone want to kill me? Thank you for saving us. Ooh, a reward. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of gold. Holy shit. Okay, um, is that, I guess I saved her? Um, so we are going to go back out here. Might be able to proceed with attempting to do Shadow Hearts storyline here. Defeated Steel Watcher. A broken Steel Watcher. A tag wired to it reads, Unit defective. 
Return to the Steel Watch Foundry at the West Docks. All right, Shadowheart. Looks like we might be, uh... Whoa! The fuck? Maintaining temperature. Steady I... I got lost. And then, when I found Mommy and Daddy again, they wouldn't get up. I shouldn't have run away. I'm so sorry. Oh. Well, that breaks my heart. So how the fuck do I get in this building? Oh, all the way, full, all the way, full circle. Shadowheart, before we move on, please heal yourself for the love of God. Maybe just another one. Okay. Because I don't want to go into this and then get extremely fucked over. Talk to Clank here. Let me back in. I'll bring Laroakin out here, you tin tube. You tell the Roachin I went for his goddamn night song, and now he has to pay up. What are you looking at? Shit, it's you. Sure is. You went looking for the night song after me. Please tell me you found it. Sure did, actually. Uh, deception. With guidance. Sick. Critical. Hope you lost fewer people along the way than I did. Bloody goblins. Laroakin should have warned us. If she's out there, I'm gonna find her. You mark my words. Okay. Wow, I just gained a lot of experience for that. All right. All right, let's talk to uh, Laroican. Welcome, dear patron, to Sorceress Sundries. I am an unperson in service of the revered wizard Laroican, proprietor of this fine establishment. To browse our wares, say, trade. To provide information about the night song, say, night song. Okay. If you are a city official here to collect dues, say, taxes. For all other inquiries, say, other. Night song. The provision of information that leads to the retrieval of the night song is worth a great deal to Master Laroakin. Do you have information regarding the night song? Yes. Please. Welcome, dear patron, to the floor at the top of the stairs. Thanks. If you have information about the night song, great riches await. If you are here to waste the great wizard Laroakin's time, reconsider. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. Um... Read the plaques. The night song is an immortal being, the child of a deity. The night song is a priceless ruby from a realm beyond our own. So far, the red one is the right one. The night song is an ancient nope. potion that allows its drinker to become irresistibly attractive to man and god alike. I've heard his 
The night song is a druidic yeah. staff that allows its bearer command. They're not red, blue. Ancient beasts. Hello, hello. improved but uh still leave something up to chance yes sir all right crank ready aim oh thank god mm. we have a visitor that is mcclaw you may go What up, Lorikin? <laughs> I see no night song. Surely you wouldn't have entered my tower without the night song in hand, hmm? Surely my worthless apprentice wouldn't have allowed you to waste my time. Um. What do you want with her? Huh. Fascinating. You've been to Shah's temple, haven't you? To the Shadowfell? None of your business. Mm. I can take my answers from your corpse if you prefer. A surprising number of people are more forthcoming dead than alive. And then again, who will clean the mangled mess from my floor? So I'll ask again. The Night Song. Where is it? Um. Uh. Why do you want her so badly? I'm growing tired of this repartee, my friend. Let us cut to the chase. Beautiful, isn't it? Worth more than your life, too. I bought it from a Kalashite warlock. Very little of his soul left to him. It can bind a celestial to the wearer's service with a snap of the fingers. And this... This can keep her in place. Forever. Um... Clever contraption, let me guess, like Kether Thorn before you wish to become immortal. Um, yeah. It didn't work out for poor Kethric, did it? He was a fool. A desperate mercenary who hoard out his soul to whichever god flattered him. <laughs> I serve no god, but that which stares back at me in the mirror. The night song will be put to a grand purpose, equalizing man and God. Whoever helps me attain that which I seek will be greatly rewarded. Uh, there's more to divinity than life sm lifespan, and snaring an immortal won't make you a god. Of course not. But perhaps, after enough lifetimes... I might make a start of it. Um. Um. I guess I can intimidate him. No, oh, I don't know how well this is going to go over. Oh, shit, a 24. I'll take it. I can see you're in no place to have a civilized conversation. Return when an iota of sense has returned to you. So I guess I could tell him. That I could bring the night song here. 
So, projection from the wizard. We need to select the right portal to set. Well, I already did. What is this? Gain an audience floor. Can. I'm I'm literally right here. Mark my words. The night you can Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna peace out. Night song's not gonna be yours, bud. I won't let anyone take her again. All right, so let's not deal with that much further for now. Um, might go back later and just kill him. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what uh, what this all brings me. Murder target, Frunk. Well, how do I get to the murder target? So one thing I need to do is Okay, one thing I need to do is find this House of Grief in the lower city. So that might be something we can try to find. Um, I don't know where it's at. This place is fucking huge. Um... Is it, this is the Steel Watch Foundry. Wait, is it... One of these. Investigate the murders. Chase down the serial killer. So the serial killer is this way over to the west. So westward is kind of where we just have to go. Oh, look. Fast travel point. Central watch. Central Watchtower of the Flaming Fists. I mean, I really have to go, like, directly west. Racing. More like juicy. A very juicy read. Yeah. The book was a lot more. Something going on here. Careful. I smell an ambush. I agree. Are you sure it's not the flower you just named? You may be allergic. You know. But better safe than sorry, I suppose. This way about someone before. I mean, I don't like the feel of this either. It feels too quiet, almost. My god, the city's huge. Jesus. Okay, I need to get inside this building here. So... The Glitter Gala. Assuming... No, that's not the right building. This is the right building. Bringing in the stench of the foundry. Belching smoke and metal screeches. Keep the city peaceful, my Okay. So we'll save here before going in there, and then we'll go, uh... Fight the, the serial killer, I guess. No way 
way to run a business, I say. Can't even browse while he's with a client. Oi, you! Get in the bloody queue! No. You stopped queuing because you felt funny. I mean, yes, mostly. Why did you stop queuing? I couldn't take standing. All right. Oh, we're breaking down doors again. I think Master Figaro has a few spaces between appointments today. You're in luck. Pacemaker fashion. Don't just look the part, be the part. And if you want to uh, be the part, um, Master Figaro still has some space between appointments. Yes. Interesting. Okay. It looks like where I need to go is actually downstairs rather than upstairs. So let's go back down. Ah, there's a hatch. Of course there's a hatch. Can we break the hatch? Well, let's lockpick it then. Ooh, okay. That's not gonna do it. Let's try that again. Why? Why always dog shit roll? I'm the, I I genuinely think this game like has it out for me. Like shit like this constantly fucking happens. There we go. Critical success. Jesus Christ. I mean, I feel like that and then I I've gotten like three critical rolls today. So, you know, never mind. I'm not going to say anything about it. Figaro's basement. Soldier. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Let's investigate here. A trap. Time to dance. Where? I don't see a trap. Gilded chest. Uh fail? Oh no, I got it. Thank God. Holy shit. Arnett ring in a silk. That really was not even close to worth it. Lockpick? We'll only try one more time, because I'm not going to waste all my stuff on stuff down here. Yeah. Fuck it. Um, can I hit it? I mean, just slashing. Okay, that's fine. Never wanted the easy path. Arbor kit, T... Thieves tools. Wooden barrel. That's no, just water. Interesting. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Elminster's not around, so it might as well. <laughs> Salmon. Oh, this is force damage. Oh, wait, what? What does Sturdy do? Oh, deals 10 damage. Okay. Harlock. Okay. 
So I'm thinking that's going to be a no. Wait, don't I have a hammer or something? I think I have a hammer. I do have a hammer. Where's my hammer? Catherick's war hammer. I don't know if that's going to do trick. Oh, that's working. That's good. And we'll just give you your other one back in a minute. Sweet. Oh my god! That scared the shit out of me. Gold, amethyst, smoke powder arrow, an arrow of monstrosity slaying. Okay. Looking ahead. Swift is my favorite. That genuinely scared me. Like, I, I felt like I was. I don't know. I felt. I, I saw my life flash before my eyes. That's how much that scared me. Holy shit. I guess I should have assumed there was a trap in there. Uh, this is Dungeons and Dragons uh, going towards a chest and thinking everything is safe is uh, not the best way to go about that. All right. So let's go in here. This is the correct way to be going. It's unusual for prey to supply the tools of its own butchery. Razors, scissors, nail files. So many cuts one could make. And yet, such a fleeting window. But then, who am I to deny the auspices of destiny? For we are celebrating, Master Figaro. You have the delicious honor of being my crowning achievement. Your body is my ultimate gift to my lord, Bar. Together, we shall transcend. Um, enough games, enough hiding. You face me here now. A challenger. My lord tests me. This piteous hovel will be your grave challenger. Sure. Um Jimmy on the go. Uh oh, I didn't give you your other weapon back. Fuck. It's fine. We're fine. Things fine. Critical fucking miss. Are you serious? Rage up. Why is he stuck?
Okay, for whatever reason, Gale is stuck. I'm gonna get him unstuck first and then uh, get back to where we were. Cause I'm not sure why he's stuck. That doesn't make any sense. He's just stuck under the stairs for whatever reason. He, he's, he just won't move. I literally just had to teleport in order to get him back because it wasn't doing anything. All right, let's try this again. It's unusual for prey to supply the tools of its own butchery. Razors, scissors, nail files. So many cuts one couldn't make. And yet, such a fleeting window. But then, together, we shall turn the chap this Okay, here we go. don't know who you are but i'm glad you were there yeah me too holy shit if it had been the dwarf alone we might have stood a chance you murdered someone in view of a guard perhaps unsurprisingly you're under arrest God damn it. There we go. You've convinced? Okay. Altheon, talk to her, please. I don't know if it... We were paralyzed before we even had the chance to fight back. Um, those doppelgangers are tracking his progress. Apparently... This one's a rising star among uh, ballists. A rising star, you say? Then there's more of these nutters running around. <laughs> I thought as much. Devella Fountainhead, constable of the Flaming Fist. I've been investigating the recent spate of murders across the city. I was on my way to the upper city when I heard a commotion. I stepped in to see if I could help. It's not every day you have the chance to catch a killer in action. Not even in this profession. Now, if you don't mind, I need to draft a report to my superiors before I forget it all. But don't worry. I'll be sure to put in a good word for you. Sweet. Um... Tell me what you know, you owe me. I just saved your life. Um... I know that the murders are connected to Ball, if that's what you ever heard. You do? How? Uh, tell about the murder target list you found. Good. That's it. Proof that I was right. I've been working on an assignment, see? A research project of sorts. I knew my conclusions were sound. But this... 
I never expected this. I'll tell you what I know. He ruled the Iron Throne. A dark tower hiding a darker secret. It was the front for a deadly arms dealing network. There, he amassed an army, seeking to become a god himself. Under his stewardship, the Baal Temple was revived. And with it, the Baal cult itself. Fortunately, the temple was destroyed. And to cleanse the city of Saravok's memory, the Iron Throne was torn from its foundations and cast into the Chionthar. For most, that was the end of it. <laughs> but cults like that don't disappear overnight. The Baal cult is back. And someone is out there, continuing Saravok's work. Um, what makes you think it's not Saravok himself? I've not ruled out the possibility that it is Saravok himself. The brutality of the killings is certainly reminiscent of his work. But there's something more here. Something new. There's a reference to these murders. A certain flair. It's as if they were done in worship. The precision of the cuts, the depth, the execution. The best butchers in Faerun couldn't make a cut like that. Trust me, I've asked them. I tried to explain all this to my superiors, but they wouldn't have any of it. They told me to drop it. Told me the city doesn't need another conspiracy theorist and to get back to doing my job before they find someone else to do it for me. But you... You're not bound by such constraints. Oh, help me out here. Help the city out. I bet if you follow the trail of these murders, you will be able to unearth the truth of this resurgence. Um. What will you do in the meantime? Try to convince my superiors to put some resources into this matter. After what's happened here, they might finally take this seriously. Might. Um, I'll do my best. You really are a godsend. Meet me at Basilisk Gate if you've anything more to report. And good luck. Cool. Handbag open. Okay, well, those are all the hands. Um, that's a dimension. Dimension door boots. Torn and bloody page. Read. Text is printed haphazardly on a torn bloody page. Idle dirge of the unholy assassin. A passphrase. Sicarius. And a location. We should find this candle hallow place. I agree. Ooh. Acid vial, grease bottle, Arabassin's gift, potion of invisibility, potion of sleep. Um, all right. Can't slow down. Let's go ahead and just short rest a little bit. Those clanking great steel watchers. Bloody hate them. No matter what the mouth says. Okay. I still need to find... The House of Grief in the lower city. Oh, hey, look. It's a... Uh, typo. It says place Kala. There's no D at the end. It's alright. It happens. Um... House of Grief. So you stopped queuing because you felt funny? I mean, yes, mostly. Surely you can't agree with how you feel when you get a child. You're not a My shop's pills with every day that runs like him. City should be for proper folk who earn this. Society is brilliant and has quite the reputation. The Gazette, 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 the Gaz
House of Grief. Where would I find the House of Grief? Steel Watcher. Go around the Steel Watcher. Inhabitants and cultures, maybe. It's fungi and cave slime. No, thank you. I'm sure of it. This might be it. Let's talk to Turin Nemosis. Manus. A good day to you, sir. I apologize, but Lady Janet is not currently welcoming visitors. If you are here with regards to her recent marriage, you may leave any gifts or warm wishes with me, and I will ensure she receives them. <clears throat> Forgive me. As you can hear, Lady Janeth is indisposed at present. Please come back another time. Okay. Um, your discretion's admirable. Tell me what's going on here. <clears throat> well, of course, that wouldn't be my place to say. Lady Janeth wishes for some time alone with her new spouse and has sent her staff on holiday accordingly. Um, Funny way to spend your holiday stood right outside your In workplace. In ordinary circumstances, I'd appreciate her generosity more fully. But, well, I prefer to be here for when she changes her mind. Can I come in? Were you to try and enter, there'd be nothing I could do to stop you. After all, I am on holiday. Do as you wish. Cool. Ah, okay. So this is where um, Bolo is, apparently? Because it says free the artist. I'm very glad they got better. Hush. Too much. It's peaceful, isn't it? Okay. So that's one thing I can do. God, there's still so much. This whole area is fucking huge. I really need to find the House of Grief, wherever in the shit that is. House of Grief. This is it, right here. Oh, I see you. Don't think that I don't. Grief Guard Afara. Welcome. The House of Grief lies just within. We are here to help. All right. Greetings. Do you seek help? You are in the right place. The House of Grief welcomes you and stands ready to ease your troubles. Hidden in a place called the House of Grief. Okay, so it's hidden here. Welcome to the House of Grief. Or perhaps welcome is the wrong word, Shadowheart. There's been some debate whether you'd even show up and face the consequences of your actions. I assumed you tried to flee, like a craven. Spare me your venom. I'm sure the Mother Superior will have plenty of her own. All in due time. Let us pass. As I said, in due time. First, you submit to the mapping of the heart. Only then can we know what is to be done with you. The mapping of the what? This is the House of Grief. We strive to help those whose hearts have grown heavy, be it with anger, melancholy, grief, or treachery. Submit to the mapping and reveal what lurks in your heart. 
If you consent, follow me. If you do not, leave. All right, I guess I'm going to try this. Shortly. All right, I guess I'll take a seat. You seek to be unburdened, yes? The mapping of the heart can reveal the way. Yet, there is another here whose need is great. That voice. Allow me. I think I'm supposed to do this. Yep, go for it. Do you know why you are here? There is something I lost. No. Had taken from me. My family. My life. I want it all back. Loss is a gift, girl. Do you still not understand that? Now give me the true answer. What is your purpose in being here? Remain silent. The artifact. I was sent to retrieve it, at any cost. And who tasked you with this mission? The Mother Superior of Sha... It's you. Give me the honor of my name, in full. I... I can't. My memories... I know what's in that head of yours better than you do, girl. My name. Mother Superior, Lyconia Devere. You still have the wits to recognize your betters. Good. Now descend. You have much to answer for. An astral projection. Very clever. I'll stay on my toes around this one. Fair enough. All right. So, Carlock, can you take? your well wait this might be better for now because oh wait no it's the halberd that i wanted you to have um yeah we're gonna we're gonna give that back to you okay so that happened Everyone seems to be in good shape. Long road ahead. If not over, then through. Um, infiltration training. Wow. I remember this place now. A whole stolen childhood spent in these halls. The Mother Superior must be close. Soon this will all be over. All right. Here we go. Sentry Keep Frederick. Going. The Mother Superior will deal with you. Here we go. Oof. A little nerve wracking. We shall be robed in black satin and embraced by Lady Shah beneath. They already heard how you disgraced yourself before Lady Shah, how she marked you as the enemy. But it is quite another thing for them to see it for themselves. I am very glad you decided to return. A cautionary tale such as yours will be studied by Lady Shah's initiates for years to come. 
But perhaps I can make a case for some small measure of mercy. Give me the artifact, and I can at least make this quick. Enough. I don't answer to you. Not anymore. I'm here for my family. That's right. I know what you did. And it's not going to be quick. This is your family. And now you have turned your back on it. The artifact was your last chance to prove yourself. And you squandered it. Um... Keep silent. You there. Surrender this one to me now, and you can consider Lady Shah's forces your allies in the battles to come. No. As you like. Lilala! For Shah! Okay, that did not go well. Let's try maybe something else. I don't know. I might not be able to do this. Okay, so I'm going to just have to not do that fight for now, and I'm going to need to stop for now. Like, I've been going at this again for, like, more hours uh it's a long game uh and if you fuck up you're basically wasting time so i gotta i gotta take a break so holy jesus just not a thousand percent sure where to go for right now um i'll figure that out i'll, I'll see what i can do figure that out uh, I just know for sure I, I can't do this right now. Um, I don't know if I can do it ever. Like, I, I really don't know what to do. That's the main thing. I don't know what I can do in order to... Have a seat. The mapping will begin. Yeah. How far that can I go? Trust the elf father and My hand tight. Tell you what, we'll do one last thing here. Check up on Lady Janice. Look around you. This place we've got a job to do. These goods need to be delivered. And I have a duty to the city and when she was living. And then uh, once we're done here, then we'll call it. is going on Come on guys let's go Listen to my 
my voice. This is not you. Please let me help you. All I hear is the grunting of a swine. Come closer so I can rip out your filthy tongue. Stop this. I love you, Oscar. And I know you love me. It's your gold I love, Hogwife. But all the riches in Faerun would not be enough to make a life with you worth living. Oh, gods, aid me. He does not mean the things he says. You! Help subdue him, but be gentle. He's not to blame. Um, okay. Well, the problem is I don't know where anyone is. Um, whenever you fail a saving throw, you can roll again. Uh, sweet. Moving. I hear someone knocking. I need to subdue Oscar. something to drink maybe your blood if you have the courage to stay help subdue him but be careful i could not stand to lose him um <sighs> how do i do an unarmed strike um I just need to knock him out. I don't need to... Um... Can you also throw something? Uh, throw these boots. Certainly. I want to do a non-lethal attack, though.
Uh, I should have saved the... Uh, it's fine. There's no way to revive him, I'm assuming. Alright, well, I did that. Uh, didn't go according to plan, but I'm not going to go back and do it. So, did that, and uh, I'll figure stuff out. See where I need to go next. For now, I really just need to take a break, so. Okay, real quick, I found a way to cheese this, and uh, I was not expecting to cheese that the way that I did, because now all, all I had to do was kill the main lady, and you saw the end of that there. Like, I, I did the end of that because I was like, it, it, there's no way this could possibly work. Um, it worked. It absolutely worked. So, we're gonna just save. I did not realize you could cheese it that fucking hard. Like, I was just standing back here, and originally I was just shooting down a moonbeam where she was initially standing, and then moving it wherever she would move. And then I thought, well, why don't I try Sacred Flame? I was just constantly spamming Sacred Flame. I cannot believe that worked. Holy fucking shit. That's insane. Way forward. If you require my life, this is so Lady Charles will. I am yours, Night Singer. Now and always. The handmaiden's mace. We're gonna take her mace. We're gonna take her Surely priestess robes. Iconia's Walking Fortress. I chose the winning side. When a foe hits you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction doing sword. two to eight force damage and knock it prone unless they succeed. Definitely keeping that. Keeping your personal chest key, the pearl, black diamond. We have fed Shit. Yeah. So, fuck Ketherick's shield. You're, this is the shield you're going to get. And we're going to give you the priestess robes. Not in any way I comprehended. Um. Oh, the superior is gone. Let your dark will come now. I want at certain times, Lady Char. All this time. I hide that during dialogue options because I like to see faces. We remain. Lady Char's bidding shall be done. And, uh. Have to keep pushing. I guess we can just go forward now because that, that ended up being so much easier than it probably should have been the mother superior gone she built this place enlisted each one of us what now losing control of this no keyhole must be another way in give us guidance Okay, uh, yeah, I guess there must be another way in. Um, let's go ahead and uh, figure out what, what to do real quick. 
and then I will actually call it uh, a day because I was, I'm I'm a stubborn person. Like I was refusing I to spoke let right. this go. But surely she would have prevented. And like, part of the reason is because I'm trying to romance Shadowheart, and I think that uh, I'm gonna have to. Holy Jesus. After I moved something on the altar, I felt it in my very marrow. Our future lies with Shadow Heart. Okay. So I have to put two Courage of the black diamonds on this blade. Not all I'm assuming. Aha. I cannot fucking believe everything that has happened. That is insane. Um, the, the fact that you can just cheese that. You can just stand back to not trigger the dialogue and just spam Sacred Flame is nuts. That is fucking... That, that's really funny. I loved that I didn't have to do that whole fight. Um, but yeah, it's time to find her parents. I see my parents. What's been done to them? Aw, oh, shit. What's this? Mirror of Loss. Let's do A great dark mirror looms over you, offering no reflection. You do not know its purpose, yet it feels oddly familiar to you all the same. Um, religion. A guidance bonus. Nice. A mirror of loss. A relic said to be as old as the Church of Shah itself. Those who stood before it could surrender their very thoughts and memories to the Lady of Loss. Great powers rest within the realm of the mirror. To be granted at the Dark Lady's whim to those making a suitable offering. A piece of themselves. Um, offer a prayer to the mirror. Uh, yeah. Your prayers fade away into the nothingness of the mirror, unacknowledged. Um, I guess gaze into the mirror intent on offering it one of your memories. With so much of your mind already surrendered to the mirror, you have nothing to offer. A sorry outcome. The dark mirror seems to turn dormant, its hunger sated. All right. Um. Well, how do we get her parents out? That's the main goal right now. It's like getting her parents freed. Nothing over here. And there's gotta be something. Bases for stuff. Nothing of note here. But up here. Those are bones. Those are straight up bones. That that is a that is a bones. Um decapitated gift. 
Ith Yankee crossbow, amethyst ring. Githyanki, head removed. They didn't want her corpse to repeat whatever secrets they tortured out of her. Well, how in the hell do I open and get parents free? This is Frazier. what's to be said I guess we can just talk to them you can't be another vile trick no there is no trick it's her Jennifer Jen a little girl Moon Maiden's grace. It is you. I'm here to get you out of here. They're all gone. It's over. Um. Oh, shit. You see, it matters not if you raise this place. If you slay every one of your brothers and sisters. That was never where my power resided. Every time you try to step away from me, every time you try to reach for Saluna, my hold on you bites deeper. If you had learned, if you had obeyed, there would be no pain. But you struggle on. You will make things worse for yourself. And for them. Um. You're a monster, not a goddess. I am neither. I am nothing. I am the empty room. The dreamless sleep. The shadow's shadow. There was no pain before my sister set the sun aflame. Now you exist to suffer. Until you find your way back to my embrace. Enough! I'm taking my parents away from here. I'm taking them away from you! You cannot. We are still bound to you. You cannot both free us and free yourself from her curse. The Moon Maiden needs you more than she needs us. You are the future. We must return to the fold. We are the past. And our duty is almost done. Eloquently put. His mind stood up well to his time here. The same cannot be said for your mother. Such brief. Fragile lives humans lead. This is my final lesson. I leave you now to dwell on your mistakes and make your choice. Oh, shit. Shah's parting words make your flesh crawl. There is no lesson to be learned here, only a family's torment, a spiteful goddess's whims. And an unspeakable choice to be made. She's gone. I, d I don't understand. Shah will never admit defeat. Not until she has stolen one last thing from you. We cannot allow your future to be her last prize. Not after all your mother and I have endured to see you again. Your companion understands, I think. Help her, please. Help her see what must be done. Ooh, okay. Uh, she wants you to choose. Uh, fuck, what is up with these hard choices, man? You have to choose, Shadowheart. Free your parents or rid yourself of Shar's curse. 
can't. I came here for them. And you did. You found us. All these years, that dream kept us going. That you would break free. No matter what they made you do to us, we knew you were still in there. I knew the Dark Woods wouldn't frighten you. You were always such a brave girl. She was. And still is. You've saved us. Now save yourself. You'll be out of Shah's reach. And we'll be at peace. But I only just found you again after all this time. I can't lose you again. We'll still be with you. By the Moon Maiden's grace, we'll never be far. Please, Jennifer. Um... This is your choice, Shadowheart. You don't need me to tell you what is right. Is this truly what you want? It is what we need. All of us. You were meant to be a guiding light for Saluna's faithful, but they robbed you from us. Now that can be righted, and we can rest. Help us, Jen. I can let go. Now I've seen your face again. Goodbye. Not goodbye. Not even close. What are those? Moonmotes. They bring Saluna's light to dark places and offer guidance to those in need. My parents are watching over me. Let's leave this place. There's nothing more for me here. What should I call you now? Shadowheart Genevelle? Shadow heart, still. I can't run away from who I was all this time. Besides, there's something fitting to it. Can't cast a shadow without some light. Wow. God damn. All right, hell of a way to end this. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video uh leave a like if you enjoyed uh don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this like starfield and like the expanse and uh i will see you guys on the next episode of baldur's gate 3 have a good one